It's Wednesday, October 27th. I'm Natalie Del Conte and it's time to get loaded. Barnes & Noble announced the color screen Nook on Tuesday. It's made for reading books, periodicals, and children's literature, as we discussed on Monday. It has a 7-inch color touch screen and 8 gigs of onboard memory to store all of your reading material. There's also a social component allowing you to share books over Twitter and Facebook. It costs $249 for the Wi-Fi model and starts shipping November 19th. T-Mobile customers will soon be able to use their phones to deliver the internet to other devices. A new tethering option will cost $15 per month. Starting November 3rd, smartphone users with HSPA or HSPA Plus will be able to get up to 5 gigs of data per month to send to their laptop or other connected device. And you won't be getting anyone a white iPhone 4 for Christmas this year. That's because they have been delayed until next spring, which is about the time we'll be reporting on rumors for iPhone 5. What you can get this Christmas is an engraved iPad, though. Apple is offering free laser engraving with the purchase of any iPad. This also might make the iPad theft-proof because really, who's going to steal an iPad that says, I love you, Pookie? And MySpace got a makeover today. The site is going back to its roots as a music and entertainment portal, hoping to get and keep more members aged 35 and under. In addition to the focus on music and entertainment, the site has curbed members' ability to customize their pages quite so obnoxiously. And Yahoo Mail also got an update. The company claims the new web version of the Mail client is speedier and less spammy. It also integrates Twitter and Facebook feeds directly into the client. LimeWire is in trouble with the law. The file sharing site was slapped with a federal injunction on Tuesday that ordered the site to disable certain parts of the service. This is a result of a battle with the Recording Industry Association of America that obviously has a problem with people sharing music on the site. This injunction orders LimeWire to shut down search, download, upload, file trading, and distribution, so basically everything we use it for. The LimeWire music store will still be available though. And finally, if you were upset about the death of the cassette tape Sony Walkman, dry your tears. It turns out Sony is stopping production only in Japan. A Sony spokesperson told PC Magazine that the vintage device will still remain in production in the U.S. for the time being. They said that there is a consistent but small demand for it, so it will remain on sale for $29.99. Those are your headlines for today. I will see you tomorrow. I'm Natalie Del Conte for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.